um, there is something uh, wrong with this Mets team. This Mets team doesn't play well together. I honestly believe they don't like each other. Um, you can tell by the way they play. Um, you can tell a team that gets along and likes each other by the way they play. You could just tell. Um, they have a certain spirit about them. Uh, but more importantly, they play smart baseball. They play good situational baseball. And the Mets, they don't do that, man. Um, there's some, there's a few players that need to go. Uh, Dom Smith needs to go. Brandon Nimmo needs to go. They need to get traded. Um, Francisco Lindor needs to be traded. This team is not going anywhere. If we can trade these players and get some hot young draft picks or prospects, the organization will be in a better place because this team is not going anywhere, man. This team is not going anywhere. Um, they're just not good at playing situational baseball, man. Too many guys trying to hit home runs. Swinging up. Too many guys swinging up. Trying to hit home runs all the time. Uh, the team is too one-dimensional. The Phillies, either the Phillies or the Braves are going to overtake the Mets, man. Uh, DeGrom needs to get traded too. You get some young prospects. The Mets need to start all over again, all over again. Because this team is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Uh, honestly, is this team good enough to beat the teams like the Tampa Bay Devil Rays? Or the Tampa Bay Rays, excuse me. Is this team good enough to beat the Giants, the Padres, the Dodgers? The Dodgers? Honestly, you have to ask yourself, is this team really good enough to beat the Dodgers? What's the point of keeping these guys around? What, are the, what is the point of keeping Lindor around, Nemo, McNeil? We got to start over again. The Mets need to start all, all over again. This team is not good enough, man. Uh, we can't hit. The, the relief pitching is shitty. Uh, we need a new manager. Honestly, I think we should hire Lou Pinella. I know he's 80 years old. He's probably burnt out. I'm not going to lie. He's probably burnt out. But if you go way back to 2003, in the second half of the season, the Marlins hired trader Jack McKeon. They won the World Series. It galvanated them. It carried them to the playoffs in the World Series. We need Lou Pinella ASAP. This uh, this Mets team ain't gonna. They they they're not gonna win. You saw what happened today. Fucking team had a five nothing lead. Fucking team blew it. You can smell it too that the team was gonna blow it. it the Mets don't. They don't have that killer instinct, man. They don't play well together. Honestly, I don't. I don't think they like. They, they don't. They. Uh, they don't get along. I, you know. I don't think they like each other. You can kind of tell a team by the way they play, how well they get along, how well they like each other, how well the t the team chemistry is. You can tell teams like the nineteen eighty seven Twins. The 1992 Twins. 
the 1989 Giants, 1990 Reds, 1987 Cardinals. You can tell a team that gets along, a team that plays good situational baseball. We need uh, pl- we need more balance. We need players with speed. Uh, we're probably the most the most unathletic team in the, in the major leagues. Got too many guys trying to hit home runs, man. We need speed. Team is not going anywhere, man. We're in trouble. The bats are in trouble, man. Blow a five nothing lead against shitty ass pirates. We need players with the will to win. We need players with a that special attitude. We're in trouble in the second half of the season. Uh and I knew this was gonna happen. Uh you notice we were playing a special type of baseball when all the the, the quote unquote regulars were out for injury, when Conforto was out, when Nemo was out. When McNeil was out, we were playing a special type of baseball. We were playing winning baseball. Uh, we were good situational baseball. But as soon as those guys start coming back, Alonzo, McNeil, when those guys start coming back from injury, McNeil, uh, Alonzo, I knew the team was going to turn into shit again. Because... Uh, Guys are not playing good situational baseball, man. They're not playing for each other. You can tell teams that are playing for each other. The 89 Cubs. 88 Dodgers. Those are the type of teams that played well together. Those are the type of teams that had a focus. This match team don't have a fucking focus, man. You saw what happened against the Brewers. Fucking game two, fucking Brewers had a fucking three nothing lead. We load the fucking bases with nobody, nobody out. Fucking, I think the first batter was fucking uh, Alonzo or not Alonzo. Um, I think the first batter was Lindor. He fucking strikes out. Lindor needs to go. Okay, he needs to get traded. Okay, because he is overrated. He uh. If we can trade him and get some young prospects for him, because his over is over the top celebrations, just annoying, man. It's just annoying. Uh, he needs to go. Um, so Lindor struck out. That's out number one. Uh, who was up next? I think it was Dom Smith. He strikes out. Uh, Dom Smith. Uh, I noticed he doesn't hit well. When the bait, when the with men in scoring position, he needs he needs to go. Um, uh, and then uh, Peter Alonso came up and he struck out. Peter Alonso needs to go. He needs to get traded. Uh, he's too one dimensional. Either he's going to hit a home run, he's going to strike out, he's going to hit into a double play, or he's going to fly out. There's no balance in t- in his game. Um, so we're in trouble. Uh, this team is not going anywhere. This team is not as not even as close as the as good as the uh, 2015 Mets or the 2006 Mets, 2006 Mets or a team like that. Uh, we have a good chance to do have a fire sale, get some hot hot, hot young prospects, uh, rebuild our minor league system. Because this week alone was some of the most frustrating losses in a long time. The Brewers loss, the game two Brewers loss, really hurt. It really hurt, man. The loss on today hurt, too. A 5 nothing lead against the, uh, the Pirates. Losses like that will can destroy a season. So we're in trouble.
We're in trouble, man.